What's up, guys? We're here. Welcome back to the channel. So, uh, Diablo released some Midwinter Blight new information and a limited time event, which goes from December 12th to January 2nd. So, mark it on your calendar. That is literally tomorrow as of the day of recording. So, we're going to break down a lot of stuff that they talk about in here and just kind of go over some of the new things that are coming. If you guys haven't checked out the video, the link will be down in the description below. Shout out to Diablo for releasing this. But we're just going to hit the highlights and just break everything down. So as you guys know, we already have the Midwinter Blight coming. We had some information on this, but we got some brand new stuff because there's a huge brand new power and a brand new elixir that's really going to just skyrocket and we get to keep these things permanently. So let's kind of just break things down here. So of course, you guys already know that in the Midwinter Blight, we're going to have the zone here that's going to be over Kmar or Kovachad, and it's going to be Gillian, which is going to be in this little square, which is right next to the to the um, portal or the uh, basically the portal which is where it was in season one for the malignant hearts so gillian's going to be there and he's going to have an awesome little station where we're going to be able to get all of our rewards for the midwinter blight so there's going to be 12 rewards that we're going to be able to get including a back skull plate for each of the classes all five classes this is actually like really really cool there's going to be five of them that you guys can get it shows it right here all five back pieces now they say that you can get it across all of your characters so i'm hoping that you're going to be able to unlock all of them even if you don't have a class each individual class for the season which would be great it didn't really specify but i'm assuming because they said across all classes you're going to be able to unlock all five of these for your characters which i think are pretty awesome right like they look super cool for the season uh tis the season as it as you would so these look actually really really nice um and then of course you have your 12 other or this isn't 12 total but it's it's 12 in total these are some of the other cosmetics that you're going to be able to unlock during the mid season or midwinter blight event which i think are cool these are completely free and all you got to do is just farm the event which is really really nice now how do you get these okay so you're going to be able to get these from farming um midwinter blight resources throughout Kovashad, okay so you're going to be able to get um blight fragments lost heirlooms as well as red cloak trophies um all of these are going to come from different um areas on the map some are going to come from the red cloak boss which is going to spawn in multiple areas you're going to have a tower that you're going to be able to unlock to get these and then also just straight up farming monsters so you can see on here that it's pretty cool and, it, and there's a hell tide right next to it so i really like that they're color coordinating these things and just applying more to the open world right so these are really really cool so you're going to get blighted fragments lost heirlooms so the blighted fragments are going to come from just slaying blight fiends across um kovashad right any of these blight fiends that come around you can just kill them then the lost heirlooms are going to come from the frigid husks now these are like little statues that are going to be scattered throughout kovashad so the all you just run up you just smash these and you're going to be able to get the resources and then of course we're going to be farming the red cloak monster or this is the boss the red cloak horror he is technically the boss of the midwinter blight event which i think is really really cool and he spawns multiple times and after you farm up enough you're going to be able to find him and just kill him uh i do really think that it's cool that we have a mid-season event you're just running through and just killing things so you can get all of these resources here um and now and also another reward that we didn't know about is the title we're going to be able to get the frigid reveler title here which i think is really cool this is something you're going to be able to do as you continue to unlock all of the items inside of the midwinter blight which i think is just awesome right so then you have our little table here this is the little area that will continue to be upgraded this collection table is where we're going to be able to farm up it's kind of like the seasonal event here where you can level it up as you're continuing to do the event you know it's like doing the vamp tides um so now using the midwinter proof to purchase limited time events so this is where we're able to get all of them you can see that it's all of the back pieces so you're just farming up these items and you're going to be able to purchase all of these items which is actually really really nice so ignore the first part of the video when i said that <laughs> you're gonna be able to get them all so as i said here just like in the vamp tides so as you're continuing to do the event inside of kmart you're going to level this up as you're continuing to do things and you're going to get rewards just like you can from the message board or the I guess uh just a big huge like stamp aboard that's in 
multiple towns for vamp tides as you continue to do the events there it'll level it up and then of course you'll get the same you know like basic rewards that you would get from opening a pack like you do in vamp tides just some items some uh topaz fragments or jewelry fragments and then you know bite berry some other small resources and then upon uh, then a legendary but more importantly you're going to get the gillian's brew which is the brand new elixir that is coming to diablo 4 with this season and will be permanently in the game afterwards which i think is awesome so Gillian's Brew is going to increase your maximum life and lucky hit chance by 15% and experience by 15% rather than just the 5% that we're normally used to. This is absolutely insane. So you're getting three things here. You're getting max life, lucky hit, and experience all increased. This is so cool. You're going to be able to get this from just constantly farming. And this is something that's going to be permanently in the game, right? The next thing is that we're going to be able to get this brand new legendary power, Shard of Dawn, offensive aspect which after 30 seconds of night gra or of night's grasp gain dawn's haste increasing your attack speed up to 35 percent and movement speed by 20 percent for 12 seconds while empowered by the midwinter ward killing an enemy reduces night's ga night's grasp duration by one second this is such a cool power on site we're gonna have to really get in there and test this thing but the fact that you can increase your attack speed as well as your movement speed by an insane amount is super cool we're gonna have to see while empowered that killing an enemy reduces this um and see how this really affects and how long this is actually going to be good for but it is really cool that you're going to be able to craft a brand new power and you can see here that we're going to be able to craft gillian's brew and this is something that's going to be permanently in the game so i'm so excited to have that brand new elixir because we need another reason to use our elixirs right so after that there's just a, a lot of q a here and some play strategy behind it but it is super cool that we have the brand new midwinter blight event and this is all the new items and things coming to the event guys so like the video comment down below let me know what you guys think of the midwinter blight event and are you excited to play it let me know down in the comments i think that the midwinter blight is just going to be something that is going to be something just to mix things up and i hope that they do more of these mid-season events even if it's just for cosmetics i think that's super cool something to keep it the game fresh and keep things mixed up so let me know what you guys think like comment subscribe and as always stay gaming i'll see you guys in the next one Peace.